Philadelphia, everything. Man, I'm beat. Here I go. I'll tear him apart. PSP or whatever I have to play on has to go through my PC. Which sometimes it does not always work the best. This one's a killer! Ooh, too slow! <laughs> My head. This! Just as I thought. Then let's begin. That takes care of that. This might be kind of tricky. <laughs> I cannot stop now. I cannot stop now. Hopefully I can do it correctly this time, because unfortunately on my first playthrough, um, I was only swaying people to vote for one person, even though I knew there were going to be two traitors. Um, I knew who both of them were as well, and unfortunately I just could not get the other people to vote um, for the second traitor, and I ended up accidentally having someone that wasn't a traitor wiped out, <laughs> or erased as they say. So, that was disappointing. Zenji got erased instead of uh, Sujiro playthrough. I was disappointed in that. I was waiting.
waiting for you. Of course, let's head out. I've always been a rather exceptional human being. Oh, that's no sarcasm either. It's just the simple truth. From the moment I was born, it's been expected for me to stand head and shoulders above others. I was blessed with it all. I suppose I owe it to my superior upbringing, but I was always able to attain skills that far surpassed other people's. I'd never met someone who was my equal, you see. Equality just didn't exist. But here, it's so different. I'm experiencing what it means to be on equal standing for once. Here, rank and authority don't mean anything at all. It's not upbringing that determines if you live or die. It's power and trust. It's the purest equalizer. When you put it that way, certainly. I'm happy to be judged in a place like this because we're being judged as equals. And I wouldn't mind if I was being judged by you, since you stand there as my equal. Stop talking nonsense. I will do no such thing. That's a pity. But if the situation arises, please don't hesitate. Don't be bound by friendship. If I'm your enemy, do what you must. I want you to erase me. Just as equally as you would everyone else. I hope that day never comes. It's a worst case scenario. You'll make the right choice, Sho. Let's do this!
right.
Hey, buddy, you wanted to see me? I knew it. Let's go. I thought long and hard after we spoke. I guess it's kind of cowardly to avoid choosing someone altogether. It's not right to shy away from being someone's best friend and live in solitude. It's very rude, especially with everyone risking their lives. So, I formally decided that I want to save the world where my friends live. And that's my final answer on it. I see. That's great news. Well, I wonder if that's great news for you. Huh? It's just, what if I actually end up having to get rid of you after all this? This is the first time I'd ever have to dump a best friend. It's rough. But hey, maybe that's just part of growing up. Thanks to you, I feel like I'm making progress. However this all turns out, I guess I'll be in your debt. I see. If you're actually making progress, then I'm glad to be of help. That means a lot to me. It's possible that, had things gone different, I might have had to choose you. Fate is a cruel mistress, you know? But that's the path you showed me, right? I guess the only thing to do is walk down it and not turn back. Whatever happens. Hello there. I had a feeling it was about time you'd show up. Would you care to talk about what happened ten years ago? Back then, an astronomer observed a gigantic meteor in the heavens on a collision course with the Earth. Further analysis concluded the meteor would strike the planet in ten years. Wait a second, if that discovery was made ten years ago, then... That's correct. The impact will occur shortly. And it will be of such magnitude that the world will come to an end. That can't be true. I've never even heard of such a meteor. Even if that fact was kept hidden, it would have come to light somehow. It's only natural that you aren't aware of its existence. Do not worry. Nothing was kept hidden from you. After all, the meteor isn't going to collide with your world. Did I just hear you correctly? You just said... You've established a close bond with your allies, have you not? Then you should have come to a realization by now. There isn't just one world out there. A world which escaped its destruction. And a world with no choice but to wait for its doom. Fate is cruel. Or rather, what's truly cruel is mankind for creating these fates. What are you talking about? What you've been saying makes no sense. Mankind has no means of resisting such destruction. Even the fate materia are powerless to counter this threat. The future was decided long before the meteor would fall. But mankind could not stay calm in despair for ten years. They would not accept this fate. And so they fought back until they found their ray of hope. Their one salvation against fate. A light in the darkness. And from that light, a new planet was born. Identical to the doomed world except for one fact. It was not destined for destruction. This was mankind's choice. Another world? You're saying that they created another planet. That's utterly ridiculous. The idea may be an absurd one, but they drew upon the fate materia and its miraculous power to protect the world. And they also drew on the core materia, with its power to negate the fate materia's influence in order to turn this possibility into reality. Together, they helped save the world. The twelve fate materia were implanted within twelve people who could bear their power, and the core materia was forged into a stake to connect the worlds, yet sever one from the other. You are all too familiar with this stake. You can sense the core materia's power around you, even now. Even now? The core materia was reformed into the Tower of Destiny. It is known to you all as the Pillar. You have established a bond with everyone, and in doing so, you may yet be able to trigger a miracle. There is a man with a sad fate, who was denied the very right to exist in the world. Please save him. Please endure his grudge, and understand that it's because he was not allowed to live. All I have left is to wish for you to see that. I'm glad we had our chance to speak. Wait, we're not done talking yet! I must go now. I must wait for that moment when death and despair call for me. Do you think we might meet again? One day? Wait, wait! He's left once again, huh? What am I supposed to do now?
sorts of games, but it looks pretty fun. And we played a little bit earlier today, and it was pretty cool. Um, but they stopped it for maintenance or some such, so I am going to stop now. And I will be playing later, though. So if you're still watching um, Twitch Viewer, I really appreciate you stopping by. Um, and if you're watching, 